specific mindset to serve and to reach those who would otherwise be unreached. Um, a person who has made meaningful contributions to the institution's capacity to meet the needs of diverse population of students and staff. I think that's true of the community here at Biola, as well as alumni and others who have gone out into all stretches of the world, taking some of the wisdom that you've given them and blessing others because of it. And a recipient who actively chooses to serve others and a service that should be an attribute uh, as a noticeable part of mark in that re the recipient's life, which I think is absolutely true from what everyone has shared here. So I think Glenn is gonna give a little uh, kind of explanation a little bit. Present with you with this, get out of the way. Okay, thank you, Sanru. Well, again, everybody says this is a bittersweet time, and it is. Um, I have, yeah, notes. <laughs> but so much has already been said, mm -hmm. and people uh, have already said this. Uh, I have uh, <laughs> points to talk about specifically for Alan. Courage, collegiality, and collaboration. Mm. Well, folks have already mm. collaborated on this, uh, <laughs> which is a, a testament to just how you have impacted folks across the campus and around society. So uh, very quickly, I just want to emphasize um, making the invisible visible. Mm -hmm. I just want to say, as it's already been alluded to and, and referred to, Alan, the students in your class come from many marginalized communities, be they global students, <coughs> students of color, from urban backgrounds, third culture kids, on and so forth. And you have cared for them, and you have shown how a professor can understand his community, his classroom community, and make all students thrive. You have done that with faculty, staff, and co-curricular educators who also are on the margins mm -hmm. of this campus. And they find refuge in your fellowship, how you have cared and shown empathy, and just how you understand what we go through on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But lastly, we just want to acknowledge to your scholarship how giving voice and attention and visibility to uh, a global community, those from Latin America, from Africa, from Asia, those that are still not, how shall we say, acknowledged on a regular basis in our curriculum, in our mm -hmm. teaching, and you have a special place to lift up those voices and especially to affirm how those of us in the West benefit from hearing those voices and seeing the kingdom of God better or more fully, as well as knowing God and seeing the scriptures. That also is what I want to say is making the invisible visible. Mm -hmm. So with all of these, we just want to say thank you for exhibiting the kingdom of God attributes and characteristics and we are so proud to um, present you with this award. So please come on up. And <laughs> sorry, I should have done this. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, 2024 Service Award. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, I feel, let me just say, I feel so unworthy to get a, an award in Glenn's name. This man has done so much. <laughs> Thank you. And